For the final visualization lecture of this lesson, we're going to be walking you through how to work with a time series. Now, this will involve yet another data set, um, but we'll also show you how to work with date times, which can be very useful um, in your own work as well as later on in the semester. And as we have done in the previous videos, we'll be using plot nine or ggplot to do this plot. So we are here in a Google Colab file. We've got our libraries that we're going to be using, and we've got our data. So I've already mounted my drive. I'm using option one from lecture three, and I'm gonna go ahead and read this data in. We can see from here the columns that we've got date, time, kilowatt hours produced, and cumulative kilowatt hours. If we print the first five rows, this is a data set that is showing the total kilowatt hours produced by Dr. Morgan's solar panels in 2021. And so from these first five rows, we can see that we've got early morning hours and no kilowatt hour production, which makes sense. There's no sunlight. And so we're going to use this data set to, um, to explore some additional types of plots. And in particular, we're going to focus on line plots. And so there can be, um, so again, working with ggplot, our data set, I called it solar. If we wanted to do a line plot, it's just geome line. And again, we need to give it an x value, usually a time, date, and a y value. And in this case, we'll say produced kilowatt hours. So we can run that. Maybe. So sometimes it does take a long time, um, but completed. And so we can see that this isn't the most well thought out plot. We can't read the dates. The line plot looks more like bars, um, which really isn't ideal. So perhaps it might be better if we narrow down where we wanted to plot. Maybe we just want to focus on September 8th 